Hi right, folks, we're getting a bit more floor room now. I'll show you around. We're still trying to sort the workshop out. See you in a minute. Right, well, I'm slowly getting there. That's, ru that's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. I think it was, wasn't it? So what we've done now, as you can probably see, move that fire out of the way. I'm after more floor space in this part of the log cabin, obviously, because uh, I had that table sitting right in the middle in it, which just loaded up full of stuff. The pillar drill, which as you probably remember, was at the end there, sitting up there. Well, I've got that off there now, and I've actually made a little lower table here, which is sitting next door to the filing cabinet there. I was going to put another filing cabinet in here, but I'm going to leave that now. I've still got that in the other office, but this is as solid as a rock, as you can see. I've got some old Honda engines underneath there. Look, over there, these are four Honda engines there, little uh, horizontal shaft engines. And uh, yeah, ideal for making goat carts and stuff like that. That one at the back there, I didn't know I had. I bought that from auction many years ago and it was stuck at the back under loads of stuff. So I didn't know I had that one. So that's fitted in there perfectly. The world has gone in there nicely, as you can see. And all motorcycle tanks you can see down there, which I'm going to refurbish one day. Uh, Yamaha RD tanks down there. There's a big Kawasaki tank down there as well. That in the middle is all Reliant Regal stuff. That's the remnants of some lawnmower stuff because we've actually moved over here. And I've actually put some shelving under here now. This was the plastic shelving I used to have over, right over there in the doorway. So rather than just waste this area now, I'm able to put uh, sort of fairings and motorcycle stuff. Again, RD side panels there, which I'm going to paint and... Uh, do various stuff with uh, Suzuki two, uh, 250X7 stuff there as well. There's all the lawnmower stuff. I've got fuel tanks down there. Whole shelf of fuel tanks, as you can probably see. They can all be refurbished. There's recoil covers there as well. Exhaust blades, all for the Briggs and Stratton lawnmowers. And I've actually got this storage space underneath now with these plastic containers, which I can store more stuff in there. So I'm happy with that. Coming over to here, that middle shelf there is taken up with Reliant Regal stuff. Underneath is the TGB moped. That's a new fuel tank for the um, Reliant Regal. Now this is the works up I wanted to free up there, as you know, I've got all stuff on there at the moment, as you can probably see. I did have the bench grinder there, over there. I've taken it off of there now. And the idea was, was to make this revolve, make a revolving plate and fix these two so I could just spin one round. I've got a concern with that because I think when you're grinding metal to remove rust, for example, the last thing you want is your fine polishing mops behind getting spun and flicking stuff on, you know, because these are obviously for polishing and finishing sort of thing. So I've dished that idea now. What I've done is I've actually fixed this front one at the moment and it's only two bolts going through there. So all I'll do, if I need to do the buffer, it's just a matter of literally undoing them two bolts I've drilled another hole because the hole spacings on this are actually different than the hole spacings on this, but I've drilled the extra hole there. So it's just undo two nuts, move that to the side, and then bring that one forward and plonk it on. Then I can do me polishing as well. So there is that as well. So I'm going to leave that like that, but I'm going to cover up this buffing wheel, obviously, because I don't want stuff shooting into these pads and, and uh, actually impregnating them. So that's what I'm going to do there. So this whole area here on this worktop can be sort of finishing and filing sort of thing so that's what i'm aiming for that there and all these chemicals which sit in this corner here they're all going to go on this table over here now out the way because i don't use that window over there so that's what i'm going to do with them that then frees up this whole worktop here for me to uh use for my restorations which is ideal i just got to clear it all fine lots of stuff i'm throwing away but as you can probably imagine there's so much stuff you gather over the years and it's an impossible task really, but I've got to carry on with it. I've dug that old TGB moped out now. I'll show you where that is. So here it is here. And uh, again, this is gonna be another refurbishment job, but I'm gonna be getting this out of the workshop at the moment. It's covered with overspray uh, dust and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna get this. We're gonna try and get this outside to free up uh, more floor area but as you can see here i've got the old engine from the reliant regal that's the one that come out of it when it was running that's a 600 cc engine i did put a light up there yesterday uh, and it was working fine coming today and it's not working now so i've got to take that one down and probably put a new fitting up there it was just an old fitting i had lying about all the powder coating stuff as you can probably see now is gone over here so all that area there it's just for the powder coating stuff so looking around the workshop as you can see i've still got loads of stuff on the counter there to sort up sort out a lot of it i am i'm throwing away loads of crap basically so um lots of floor area still to clear but 
I am getting there and uh, we got loads of stuff to dump, dump down the tip as well. I stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around Right, well, as you can see, I'm trying to get rid of this old trailer. We, Gary bought this years ago. We was going to refurb it, but it's gone rotten now. It's not really not worth messing about with. So we decided to get rid of it, hence cutting it up. So these wheels are no good, but I've, been, I've got a light in the low, so I'm going to take these wheels off now. I've got this impact driver here, which I got from Clark, as you probably know. First time I've used it on a vehicle, so to speak. Not that this is a vehicle, but uh, let's see how it performs. Oh, no, yeah, that was quick. Well, I don't think that was really tight, but there you go. <laughs> right, let's lighten the load there. Let's go around the other side. I don't think you've done this up, Gary, did you? No, lucky loose, aren't they? Get them off of there. Just so much easier. Is that one I got one on? Oh, that's a smaller one, wasn't it? I don't know why. Right, let's get them off. So all I'm going to try and do now is, oh, Cut these shackle bolts off there. It's not worth trying to do anything with them because these are springs, obviously. We're going to throw it all away. It's all going to go down a tip. So we're just going to make it manageable so we can put it in the back of a van and then take it. So. Yeah, that's it. Happy days at last. That's that off. Right, let's lift that out of there then. Should come out of there now, shouldn't it? Yeah, want it? Oh, hold on. What about if we punch these bolts out now? Just lift that up then. Right, call that a hammer. That's a hammer. Tough old things, aren't they? They weren't coming out easy. God, they're well rusted in there, aren't they? No? Try this one this side. If not, I'll have to get grind the other heads off as nuts off as well. Unbelievable. See, we'd never have refurbished this anyway. No, that's not coming out, is it? Sorry. Right, I'll have to grind down here as well. Just spread these bolts in, and that should pop out. All right, we're a bit further on, as you can see. Lucky enough, the wood's rotten, and we able to just put our foot through it. So where have I got to get now? Just cut this one off down here, innit? This is a little bit small, but we'll have a go. One more bit. <laughs> hey? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was just about to lump it one with the hammer. Right, well, we're getting somewhere now. All right, let's take that around there. Set of dumbbells, for you. Set of dumbbells, yeah. <laughs> Bodybuilding weights. Put it down there now. Got it? Oh yes, well done. Well, we're making progress now. We should be able to knock them two off down there now. I better change my uh, sand uh, grinding disc for another one. All right, so yeah, I've not put out a video on my Retroax channel for near enough a month now. And I've lost three quarters of my earnings in that short time. 
I can't work it out as to why that's happened, but uh, obviously I've got to get the workshop sorted out before I can go any further. I did cut through them bolts down there, but it's not worth messing about. I'll just cut through new shackles now, eh? That's it, out of the way. That's it, that's manageable now. That'll all go in the back of a van and down to the old uh, tip. All right, okay. So that's now freed up this little bit of space here. Uh, that's it, get rid of that. Which is ideal. Put that there for the moment. You can put that one around there. That wood can go on the fire pit. That wood can go on the fire pit. Like that, we'll brush this lot out and then I can store the mopeds here for the moment, cover them up and that gives me another little area which I've just freed up. All this is going to come out, all this lot here. Uh, that's going to, all this earth and all that's going to go under the decking when I pull the decking up because uh, there's a big void underneath the decking so this will all be flattened off and levelled out. <laughs> Right, well, I might as well end this video here, and uh, loads more to do, as you can see. I'm still not straight yet. Loads to do in the workshop still, and uh, I'm just going to plod on. I thought I'd get this little video out for you today, just to show you what I'm up to, and why I've not put another video out. But I will be on the projects again soon, once I've got this lot sorted out. Anyway, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button, and also ring that little notification bell, so that you'd get informed next time I upload a video. So thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.